This to me is the first sign that maybe Trump is really preparing for some type of uh, result that he doesn't want in uh, the midterms. Uh, and who's he going to blame? Well, I would have thought crooked Hillary or the deep state, and I'm sure they will be blamed as well. But this is the ultimate, I know you are. I know I, uh, what is it? I know you are, but what am I? Or I know, I know I am, but what are you? Whatever. I know I meddled, I know Russia meddled in the election, but what about China for you? Yeah, exactly. Here it is. This is, this is the plan if the Republicans get wiped out in the midterms. In my remarks yesterday to the United Nations General Assembly, I laid out my administration's commitment to building a more just and peaceful future. Regrettably, we found that China has been attempting to interfere in our upcoming 2018 election. Election. Coming up in November. <laughs> against my administration. They do not want me or us to win because I am the first president ever to challenge China on trade. And we are winning on trade. We are winning at every level. <laughs> we don't want them to meddle or interfere in our upcoming election. Now, I have no doubt that there already is meddling of every kind from any country that has any capacity to do this. It would whether, be an oversight. Uh, yeah, it would be an oversight. Obviously, the United States has a very aggressive history of every kind of meddling. China does it uh, pretty much out in the open the Saudis, the Gulf states, Israel, um, through lobbying and all sorts of influence peddling. Uh, but it's just funny to me. I don't know whether China is calculating that. A part of me would think that China loves Trump because he's hastening U.S. decline and the sort of passing the baton of a new global system with a much more prominent place for China. Or there's a Chinese calculus that we want this done in an orderly and smart way and we feel uncomfortable with some unstable idiot who tells us he's going to bomb Syria over over a chocolate cake at Mar-a-Lago. So that remains to be seen. But this is the obvious. I mean, I'm surprised that this type of talking point wasn't deployed faster with regards to counteracting the Russian narrative by Trump and the Republicans. And I look forward to hearing a lot of this.